Okay, let's start with um, Howard the Duck from 1987. A little movie about how an alien duck from outer space falls in love with some chick. And they kind of explore bestiality. I watched this as a child. Okay, so here's the scene where she and him get get it on. That's Howard. Okay. You know, I got a feeling my life's really gonna change since you fell into it, Ducky. Yeah, well, I'm glad somebody's happy. If I could just get my career back on course, I'd only have the old standard worry left. What's that? I just can't seem to find the right man, Ducky. Oh, well, maybe it's not a man you should be looking for. You think I might find happiness in the animal kingdom, Ducky? Like they say, it all loves strange. We could uh, always give it a try. Okay, let's go for it, Mr. Macho. And then they proceed to kind of like grow up on each other. Okay, next movie. Oh, the last unicorn. My cat's licking himself. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so we've got. Oh no, where did I put my unicorn? Okay, my unicorn. Oh, what's going on with my hair? Oh. Okay, that's enough of that. Glasses. Okay, the last unicorn. We have um, Molly. This will be Molly. We have the unicorn. That's the unicorn. And I'll be Schmendrick. <sighs> no. It, it can't be. Can it be? Where have you been? Where have you been? Damn you. Where have you been? <gasps> Don't talk to her that way. I'm... I'm here now. Where were you 20 years ago? 10 years ago? Where were you when I was new? When I was one of those innocent young maidens you always come to? How dare you? How dare you come to me now when I am this? <laughs> Can you really see her? Do you know where she is? If you had been waiting to see a unicorn as long as I have, she, she's the last unicorn in the world. It would be the last unicorn that came to Molly Grew. It's all right. I forgive you. Molly Grew's kind of a bitch. Okay, moving right along. 
the never-ending story. Whoa, 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 whoa. That movie. Oh, okay. Um, oh, the Child Empress, and I'll play Bastion. Child Empress. Bastion. Remember her voice was like really breathy and like just weird. Oh, she was so annoying. Even for a kid, man. Okay. So this is the end of the movie and like Fantasia's, I don't know, exploding, falling, crumbling, whatever. Falcor's flying, being creepy. Okay, we've got the Empress and Bastion. She's all, like, emotional. Bastion, why don't you do what you dream, Bastion? But I can't. I have to keep my feet on the ground. Call my name, Bastion. Please save us. All right, I'll do it. I'll save you! I will do what I dream! Then he runs to the window and yells out something that I had no idea what it was he said until just now. Moon Child! Apparently her name was Moon Child? I never knew that part. Okay. And then afterwards, cut to black. Little ember lighting up their faces. Bastion, Empress, she's holding out a little thing in her hand. What's that? One grain of salt. Sand. One grain of sand is all that remains of my vast empire. Fantasia's totally disappeared? Then everything's been in vain. No. No, it hasn't. Fantasia can arise anew from your dreams and wishes, Bastion. Okay. Maybe a treu. Is there an Atreyu and Falcor part? Um. Mm hmm? Stand by. <sighs> oh man, Falco is so creepy. Okay, then there's the part before what I just did where Atreyu and the childlike empress are like, I don't know, yelling at each other very dramatically. Okay. Here's the empress. And I'm Atreyu now. Wardrobe change. What will happen if he doesn't disappear? Or... This is why I'm not an actress. What will happen if he doesn't appear? Sadly. Then our world will disappear. And so will I. How could he let that happen? He doesn't understand that he's the one who has the power to stop it. He simply can't imagine that one little boy could be that Important. Bastion, is it really me? The trait. Maybe he doesn't know what he has to do. Bastion, what do I have to do? Empress, 
He has to give me a new name. He's already chosen it. He just has to call it out. Okay, that's enough of the never ending story. Let's want me to sing a little bit more. The never ending story. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Never ending story. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Okay. Last one. Goonies. Chuck and um, the guy who's interrogating him, like Francis Fratelli. I don't even remember that guy's name. I remember his what he's his confession is hysterical. Okay. <sighs> Tell us everything. Everything. <sighs> everything. Okay, I'll talk. In third grade, I cheated on the history exam. In fourth grade, I sold my Mac. Uncle Max's toupee, and I glued it on my face when I was Moses in my Hebrew school play. In fifth grade, I knocked my sister Edie down the stairs, and I blamed it on the doll. When my mom sent me to summer camp for fat kids, and they served lunch, I got nuts, and I pigged out, and they kicked me out. But the worst thing I ever done, I mixed a pot of fake puke at home, and then I went to this movie theater, hid the puke in my jacket, and I climbed up to the balcony, and, and then, then I made a noise like this. And then I tumbled it all over the side, all over the people in the audience. And then this was horrible. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. I never felt so bad in my life. I'm beginning to like this kid, Ma. Okay. Was I supposed to introduce myself? I'm Christine from Mama Pop. Bye, Aiden. Sorry.